still coming out of the pandemic. We are, but there's probably. Well, I mean, there. I mean, there. There. Arkansas is. isn't. Arkansas never felt it. They never had a pandemic. Nope. Thank God. God. It was just safe. God punishing them. No, I don't know. I, I don't no, mean to. Te- Testing shit on the Arkansas. faithful, punishing the faithless. That must be it. I've never been to Arkansas. I can't really say. I, I what drove, you hear in the media, in the I fake dro- news media. I drove through Arkansas, and it was everything yeah. I imagined. Yeah. And just to make sure, I stopped by a Walmart. Oh, boy. It was wonderful. Like, walking through a Walmart in Arkansas at, like, 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, my gosh. seeing children. Yes. Like children in diapers running around, and I'm just like, it looks like it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. I've been in a Walmart in West Virginia, which is not that much better. Yeah, no, it's, it's I I like to think of my the Walmart here in Bowling Green as you know just a Walmart. Yeah, you're right. It's just a Walmart. You motherfucker. So. You know, the, the joy of them is they're all the same. That's the Walmart where I uh, was an accomplice to stealing a bunch of VCRs. Really? Yeah. Did you know you were an accomplice or did you just? Know? I didn't know I was about to be. I just bumped into him there. Oh, I, no. I was buying like Cinnamon Toast Crunch or something. Oh, no. I was like, hey, just... Joe, how's it going? I was like, oh, how you doing, man? I was like, hey. Come here a second. I was like, oh, yeah, what? I was like, hold this. And oh, it's like a, a VCR. I'm, I'm probably changing the story as I'm remembering it. But no, no, like I'm I, like, oh, okay, yeah. What are you getting this VCR? I was like, no, hold on. I got to get these other ones. And he put, I think, a second one on me. And then he grabbed two VCRs. Like, what are you doing with four VCRs? Like, Just follow me. Come here this way. And I follow him out yeah. to the outdoor area. You know, mm-hmm. where like the, yeah, the, yeah. the outdoor where the, you know, Swing sets and stuff are like, okay. What are we doing? I was like, here, let me see. Let me see that. He puts his two under the fence and then he grabs my two and puts them under the fence. <sighs> I'm like, what are you, what are we doing? He's like, hey, come, uh, come this way. Follow me. Just follow me. Don't worry about it. So I'm following him. I'm like, I, I got to get my hey. cinnamon toast crunch. He's like, no, just keep coming up. Where are we going? We go past the registers and out of the store. I'm like, where are we going? And then he goes and gets in his car and I don't know if I got in the car with him at this point, but pulls up his car and puts those VCRs in his car. And just, yeah. All right. See you later. Enjoy your cinnamon toast crunch. I'm like, I can't go back in now. I just like, yeah, was no, a, it's, an accomplice. that's pretty that. I mean, that tracks with everything that, that like that sounds about very much like from back in that day, he would acquire stuff. Yeah. And like set up apartments. He had a wireless room. Wow. Yeah. He had like a room that he could control two fans, three lights, and his computer system with a re- with a universal remote. So he probably just stole all that stuff. Probably. Yeah, I was just like all of a sudden I'm like, oh my god, I was an accomplice. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, that- and if if he would have got caught and I was with him, I would have been in trouble too. I, and I would have been like, I had no idea. I just bumped into I, him here. They wouldn't have believed me. I, I would say I will say this for then even then I do believe he probably would have said oh no Joe doesn't know what's going on yeah I think he would have I do like, think that. Just, like, like he like that was like that was one of the things that he was he yeah. was really I don't think he would have let me dragging take people yeah. down with him yeah I so, I never sensed that he would do that he was the guy that didn't freak out when I was like all right just keep driving and I climbed out his window onto his car. <laughs> Yeah. You're not saying yeah. that everyone else was wrong. My big, my biggest question about the whole thing is, did I ever go? Where did I go from there? Did I go somewhere else to get whatever I went there for? Like, I don't know if I went there for, you know, Velcro strips, or did I go there for milk? Who knows? No. I mean, but what I, I really want to know is, did I ever get what I came there for? And I'll never know. Why? I don't. I, I. I would think probably not. I would think that you were. If I were to take a guess on the, you know, I would. I would assume that you didn't. I know then, I didn't get it from there. Yeah. But but did I go somewhere else, or did I change my plans? Did I, I just go you, home? I, I think you probably went somewhere else to get it. Well, 
that's one of these things that keeps me up at night. What did I do? And that's why I want a time machine just to go back and find out what I did. Oh, not see, for any other reason. That's good. I, I just, I wouldn't mind a time machine to go see concerts. Yeah, that would be cool. Like, yeah, yeah go back and see Woodstock or something like that. I uh, go back and see the police perform at CBGB's. Or what if you went back and saw the Beatles and then you found out like, God, they really weren't very good. Boy, this sucks. Then, then you can just say, then you can just laugh at your parents. Yeah, you're like, you guys made this thing in a. Uh, you guys, you guys just didn't have anything better. And like, I mean, you go back in time just to see the Beatles in their heyday, and you go to this concert, and it's just them fart making fart noise. Well, that would be the Hamburg days. The Hamburg days. Well, they did. I mean, probably a lot of times when they toured, that's they could have done that. Nobody knew because. The whole audience was just screaming, and you couldn't hear anything. Yeah. That's why they stopped touring, they said. like, So yeah. we just got tired of it. We couldn't even play. They couldn't, couldn't even hear any of it. Yeah, it was just screaming. Mm-hmm. Like, as soon as we can't, got out on stage, we couldn't even play one note because it's just screaming. Everyone just screaming. Like, what is that about? That's That's, nuts. that's, that's pent-up sexual. Hysteria. Yeah, pent-up yeah. sexual something. Mass hysteria is what that is. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Do you have more on this rock and roll thing? Oh, just a little bit. Sorry. Just, uh, Sorry. We got uh, way off. But that's what this is for. This is for, this is to embrace the sidetrack. This is, Maybe that's this what we call this. Embrace the sidetrack. Embrace the tangent. Please send the cops. I know of somebody who's smoking drugs. 147 WIOT. Yeah. Find everybody we went to high school with. <laughs> Make Steve try to seduce them. <laughs> I mean, it. I'm in a pool. Oh, I love your pool, then dude. I'm, I'm jumping in. Lobster theremin, bro. Lobster theremin. Ah. Lobsters pee out, out of their faces. Did you hear clicking? No. Our yeah. flag day barbecue. Yeah. I always think about your... Who are you giving most attention to? Oh, Edie Falco. <laughs> Emily Blunt. <laughs> Just blue. Erkan Eppiger. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Yeah, he's right. He's Belgian. Oh, and he's he Belgian? He's not French? He's- Nashville what? beer. It's home it comes style. Comes from sitting alone in the dark. <laughs> Jimmy Dean, delicious, savory, high quality but pork product. Can... Skinny, skinny legend Versace boots, the house found Slay Queen, Hunty Mama, and Oop Daddy work. Embrace the tangent, yeah. Tangential Embrace. hugs. Tangential. <laughs> Carlos Summer here. 